what's going on guys my name is Mitch Robs and today we're going to be doing sinkhole east amplifier in Candy Valley Endurance. So uh, sinkhole east is actually one of the problem amps and a lot of people really really struggle with sinkhole east. Um, there's some interesting challenges with it that we'll go over and I just want to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So this is going to be my cheat build for it. This never fails me. It's really good, but you kind of require a little bit of trap durability for this one. So if you're not comfortable with that, or if you're not comfortable with uh, husks leaking every once in a while, never enough to get past the 80% badge, but this is just enough to where it's like perfect amount to kill all the husks. Um, so if you're not comfortable with that, I will be coming out with like a more expensive build, but this is the cheapest build and the most consistent build that I got at that price level. So I do hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like the build, leave a like on the video. If you guys just want to consider subscribing to the channel, that's great. I don't really care. If you guys want to support me, fine. No big deal. Um, but yeah, I have like the Twitch link and stuff in below. You guys know where all that is. So today we're going to be talking about Sinkhole East and we're just going to be doing a damage tunnel with a hell of a lot of spawn trap. So one of the interesting things about Sinkhole East is of course you have all the wave types like we did for Sinkhole North, like wave 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 28, and you have the mini bosses that you would normally have. But one of those things is a, this is a cross spawn with Tunnel North. So Tunnel North is the amplifier directly to the east of the Storm Shield. And that's a cross spawn right there if you have both of them. So not only is that kind of crappy, but it shortens up our tunnel a lot. And then we'll have uh, Tunnel also has hot spots. So there's a 50% chance while you're in it that these hot spots are going to uh take out part of your sinkhole build so you have very very limited space to work with about a two and a half tile tunnel so that's how you got to work with and it gets hit a lot so that's why sinkhole east is a big problem for everyone but yeah we're just going to be using a mini boss tp loop and for like our problem waves like wave 23 for the fire smashers we're going to be using a heavy smasher bridge um like all six smashers will end up be running this uh, so that's that's kind of fun i actually really enjoy that but yeah, so let's go over the traps for this. So I actually, the structures wise, pretty, pretty cheap actually. Um, significantly cheap, uh, cheaper than North, which is actually really surprising to me. But we have Sinkhole East Amplifier. We have 207 total structures, 7,680 metal, and that's 128 structures with 79 traps. So 207 overall is actually really, really cheap. Um, and I'm very, very surprised by that. So let's go over the traps. So there's gonna be three sound walls with all durability, one reload and one heal spills attached. We're gonna have one sound wall with all durability to reload. We're gonna have 17 wall darts with crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Four wall darts with physical, crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, heals builds attached. We're going to have one wall dart with crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability. Four wall dynamos with uh, crit rating, crit damage, damage reload, heals builds. We're going to have 31 drop traps. These are going to be all durability. We're going to have one gas trap with crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage effect duration. Two gas traps with crit rating, crit damage, durability, crit damage effect duration. So we have two different types of gas traps. The only difference is one of the damages is turned into durability. We're going to have six ceiling electric fields with all durability, and they're going to be energy. We're going to have one ceiling zapper with crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, durability. Um, I think I used a damage one in the video. doesn't really matter which one of those you pick. We're gonna have two wall traps with increased building health. Um, so I just had, I think I used the increased building health wall spike, but you can use whatever. Two floor traps with increased building health. Um, you can't put a floor launcher on a ramp, so I don't suggest that. Um, and then I used my floor freeze traps, the two floor traps with heals builds attached on them. And then I have two wall spikes with heals builds attached as well. Um, so that's it, 79 traps, it's gonna be cheap. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. This build was something I'm pretty proud of. So um, just keep in mind that there is leaks in this every once in a while. So if you do have leaks and something hitting your amplifier, that's okay. As long as it's passing consistently and almost every time, 
I'm not going to say even almost every single time it should be passing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let's get on to the build. Let's start building this shitty amp. So, by the way, this build's going to be not for the faint of heart, right? Um, this is probably the hardest amplifier in Candy Valley Endurance, um, maybe besides Flex Amp, because I don't have Flex Amplifiers, so I haven't perfected a build for it. Um, but this is by far the hardest side slash amplifier um, and Candy Valley Endurance, and this is the one that everybody cries about, so we're gonna get onto it. So if you don't know what sinkhole amplifier is, we're gonna be starting at the Storm Shield and we're gonna go north. It's gonna be in this giant sinkhole down here, and we're gonna be doing the east side. Now, I say this is hard, why do I say it's hard? Um, one, this is where the mini bosses hit. So pretty much every single guaranteed mini boss spawn um, that hits on a certain amp is gonna hit on sinkhole. Um, if you notice, look at the terrain. So you've got uneven terrain right here, um, as well as uh, this is the Smasher Wave. So there's always one main Smasher Wave in Endurance on Wave 23. It's a Fire Smasher Wave. So this is where my Smasher Wave hits. Um, so they have to come up this ramp and come directly here with this uneven terrain. The other thing we think about is there's actually a cross spawn. So if there's these spawns out here for A, come out to over here, and the spawns for D come out to this north. All right. So you'll get tunnels, uh, spawns right over in here, in this section. Um, so that limits you to this space up to about this little point to where you have this much amount of tile to build for, and this gets hit a lot. Now that's not actually even the worst part of it. So the other challenge that you must overcome with this is there is a hot spot on wave nine. If you get tunnel east um, on your wave nine, uh, what happens is a hot spot will spawn right over here and it'll cover all of this section of tile. So boom, right here and right here. All of this, all the floors and walls in this, uh, all the traps will be gone off of it. So we kind of have to actually play around that, right? So you're working with a half tile right here, one tile, two tile, three tiles of trap tunnel to work with. So that's why this amplifier is considered so hard by so many people, is because you're working with very, very limited space on one of the hardest waves in Candy Valley Endurance. So that's why everybody cries about St. Cole East. Um, is this build for the faint of heart? No. This is actually, I'm going to come up with two builds, right? This one's going to be for like the high Dura, Trap Dura players. I'm not talking like you have to be max, but you have to have a good amount of Trap Dura ability to run this, or else you'll have leaks in later waves especially if you get hit with a lot of random waves, but this is going to be solid and it's never failed me at my high trap durability ability. So for those of you guys that do have that, this is going to be perfect for you guys. I will come up with another build for um, low trap dura players. It'll be kind of like my old build, um, except it's just going to be cheaper and it's going to bring them right through here. Um, like the floating tunnel that we had like that. But this one's going to be for those non, um, those people who want to have like a little bit cheaper of a base. So what we're going to start, so naturally the spawns are going to be right out here. So there's going to be spawns down here towards this river, all the way down here. There's going to be spawns in this cave right around here. There's going to be spawns up here. There's going to be spawn right here. There's going to be spawns up here. So we have to take all of those into account. So naturally you would think, all right, a lot of the husks want to come right down here and they want to walk straight towards the amplifier. And the other spot that they want to go to is off to the left into this cave and then straight towards the amplifier. So we have like two main pathways that they would want to go. Um, as well as you'll see that we have like a couple little things we have to take care of. All right, so the pathway that we actually are going to try to get them to go is down this river path. And um, this is going to be, if you have my old build, you know I had like a set up a, um, a backup tunnel in here in case they broke through down here. Um, it's kind of going to be like that, but a little bit more, what's the word for it, refined. Um, and it's only going to be down here. So here's how we're going to do it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to place this floor right here. We're going to edit it like this with the tiles to the east taken out. Um, we don't want things going up this, so that's what we're going to build first, is we're going to block off this pathing and make them come over here to this ramp. And conveniently on the sinkhole north build, I had us build this already, so this is where they're going to come in through. So it's going to be like, the both pathways for sinkhole north and for sinkhole east are going to meet up. We're going to place a wall behind this, we're going to place a floor, or ramp, or a cone, 
and that's going to be it right because if we look at our smasher bridge we can't have any walls within three connections of this um tile so this is the last wall that like we can't place so anything within that you can't place the three connections if you want your smasher bridge to function that is if you're not using the smasher bridge and you're using a mini boss dancer you can basically as long as you're not fixing your um mini boss dancer or like breaking it you're pretty good but um so we're gonna place those three we're then going to place this little windowed wall right here all right um not too hard and we're going to place a floor above this and a ceiling above this so we're not going to really have floors in this building. um and that's just because they all get blown out by that hot spot we're going to come right here and we're going to place a ramp and this ramp's going to be facing the east and it's going to have a ceiling on top of it all right so as you kind of can see it's going to be a husk going over to the right here and then walking through here we're going to come back over here and we're going to place a wall and a wall here and we'll have like wall art shooting through that later. Okay. We're going to then come right over to here and we will have a wall here. We'll have a wall here and a wall here and we'll have a windowed wall right here. We're going to have a little pathing tile. So if you guys see, we're gonna take out those left six tiles and we're just gonna have this side left. So like this, we're gonna place that there. We're also going to do an edited low wall. So our little edited low wall like this. And we're going to place... Oh my god, why didn't that edit? Weird. And we're going to place it right there. And this is just to get them to path as far as possible this way. We're also going to have um, a little edited low wall right here as well. Um, and this is just so the husks want to walk right here. And get as much damage from the gas traps that we're going to inevitably place. So we're going to get our full wall back and we're going to place a wall here, here, and here. Okay? Now one of the things about this amplifier that's kind of also difficult is wave 3, the smashers don't like to behave. There's just some waves that smashers don't behave on smasher bridges. One of those is wave 22 and twine endurance on ridge. Smashers don't like smasher bridges on it for some reason. And same with wave 3 on sinkhole. Um, so these traps may eventually break to spawns or to the, um, what's the word for it, or to the hotspots, but that doesn't matter because it's not important to the build except for on wave three where the spawns aren't going to break it. Okay, so we're going to place wall here, wall here, and wall here as well. All right, so now that we have that, we're also going to come over here and we're going to place a wall here and a wall here. So now that we have that, we're going to actually place traps in this section. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like it when I don't build all the structure and then go back and place traps, but honestly, that's going to be way too confusing on this video for me. Um, so it might be confusing for you guys because I won't have to, I'll have to go back through all of it and place traps. So we're going to start placing traps and also we're going to take out this wall because I didn't have this there. But we're going to take our Aldura, or not Aldura, we're going to take our crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. Um, wall darts and we're gonna place one here and one here we're gonna take a um another wall dart right here and we're gonna place it here we're gonna come all the way over into this back area we're gonna place one right here and one right here so as you can see we're shooting out this way we're shooting across this way we're also shooting across this way into this way now, one of those things that you're going to experience is there is propane. So I used to have sound walls like littered throughout this, like a sound wall here, here, and here. But we're going to have drop traps overhead, so they're not going to actually work as effectively anymore. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a heals builds attached wall dart. So this is going to be damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, heals builds attached. So the same rolls that we just had, but heals builds attached on it. And we're going to place one here, here, here in here because these are the most likely spots that propane can blow up and if they do blow up we don't want the wall to be permanently damaged so this will heal it up over time and usually these won't break throughout the entire endurance if you have that heals builds attached on it so that's what we really want we're then going to come right over here and we're going to take a weird rolled gas trap um this is different we need that extra durability and less reload speed 
Uh, so we're going to have a crit rating, double crit damage, durability effect duration. So we're not going to have that extra damage in there. Um, this is so it lasts a little bit longer into the endurance. So it's going to be here and here. So that's going to have a little bit more lasting effect. We're going to come on top of it and we're going to place a heals builds attached. So all durability heals builds attached, floor freeze trap on both top of these. And this is in case propane blows up. These aren't going to go with it. We're then going to place a floor freeze trap. So this is going to be um, an increased build health one. It can be any floor trap as long as that has increased build health. And we're going to place it right here. Um, I don't think you can put it as a floor launcher because those can't go on ramps. But anything that it's on a ramp will be good. We're also going to be taking a crit rating, double crit damage, damage durability ceiling zapper and placing it here. On wave 23, smashers will walk over here, break this ramp, and then walk this way. Um, it's really strange, but they'll never go up this ramp because of it, but they'll break this um, ramp right here. So this ceiling zapper and this wall dart are adding a little bit of damage to that because they can shoot through this ramp. So they'll walk right through this way. All right, so we're then going to place our all durability, one reload speed and heals builds attached um, sound wall. Um, or a little bit weird of a sound wall, but this is just because it needs that extra durability. And if propane goes off, we don't want it to get blown up. We're then gonna come right over here to this right wall and we're going to place an all durability two reload speed and sound wall. Um, and a lot of things won't make it this far into the tunnel, um, but if a propane does and they don't have their crowd control counter maxed out, the sound wall's gonna hit them. And it'll also stun smashers a little bit. We're gonna come to this wall right here, and this is also gonna be a reload speed wall dart. So reload speed right here. We're gonna place it down. All right. We're gonna keep going through this, and that should be basically all the trapping in here. Um, what we also have to do right though is um, we have to come to this wall right here what we had the wall dart on and we're going to place an increased build health wall trap. So I have mine as a wall spike. Um, I would suggest putting it on a different trap solely because I get confused between my heals builds attached one and my increased build health one. But we're going to place an increased build health one right here. We're also going to place a um, increased build health uh, floor trap on this little floor right here and then close this off. Um, and that should be all the layering you need. We're then going to come right over here and we're going to place a uh, heals builds attached wall spike. We're going to place one right here. Um, and since this already has heals builds attached on it, we're going to add an increased build health one right here. All right. And we're going to put a cone right here and face it towards the northeast. And that's just going to add a little bit of extra layering so they don't beat on this wall. All right, so that should be all of the trapping in this little area. Um, I believe so, at least. We'll, we'll come back to it and I'll go over it again just to make sure I got it all right. But that should be all the trapping in that area. All right, so now that we have that, we are going to um, work on the back half of our tunnels. So we're going to come right over to here and we're going to add our reload speed wall dart. So let's go find those real quick. Boop, boop, boop. We're going to add one, two right here. And this is just for that wave three, right? And sometimes these don't bring to the tunnel spawn. So it's free damage, basically. Um, because we're going to rely a lot on killing them before they get to the tunnel on this build. So I'm actually going through my screenshots just to make sure I have every little piece right. So we're going to come right over to here and one of my buddies Lion said that these don't break to spawns. I've noticed maybe they do, maybe they don't, but we're also going to place those uh, reload speed wall darts right here. Once we have that, we're going to go all the way over to our, um, we're going to come over here and we're going to place one wall. Well, we can't place it just yet. Actually, we can't place any of these just yet. Okay, hold on, let's see how are we gonna place them. So I have an idea. So we're gonna place a floor right here, and this is going to be facing the north. We're gonna place a wall, a wall, wall, and then we're gonna have a cone facing the, oh my gosh, a cone facing the northeast. So it's getting a little bit laggy right there. And then we're gonna place a window into this front wall. And we'll have windows in these two front walls, and then we'll have a regular wall right here. 
will have those all durability one reload speed heals builds attached um sound walls we'll place one two three right here and this is for propane blowing up off of spawn um this also kind of begs into the the sink or the tunnel east um spawns or tunnel north spawns where um if propane spawns and comes along this way if it blows up it don't break this way we're gonna come behind this we're going to place a floor and this floor is going to be facing with a tile taken out to the northeast we're gonna have a cone facing the northeast surround that in walls we're going to have a wall here oh my gosh i got lost my place we're gonna have a cone here facing the northeast a wall a floor a cone we're going to have a wall right here, but before we place that, we're going to place a cone facing the northeast, a cone facing the east, and then a cone facing the southeast, and then a wall. And that should be all the block off we need in this cave area. Make sure to tier 3 all of this. Um, I hope you guys don't ever forget to tier 3 all your stuff, because it's super, super important. So this should be a little bit of our block off, so they don't go into this tunnel area. Um, and this will feed nicely into our uh, tunnel north build. Now that we have that, we are going to um, come over to here, right? Because this spawn up here, for some odd reason, some husks want to come up here, walk up here, walk all the way over here, drop down, and then go towards the amplifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right here, and we're going to place a wall, a floor a cone, a wall, a floor a wall a cone facing the northwest. We can't place anything in these two tiles because hotspots break it. But then we can place a floor and a cone. And this should be enough that these husks right here don't want to come up this way. We're also going to place a heals builds attached uh, wall dynamo on this. So I know a lot of you guys get confused because sometimes I put the screenshot with the double crit damage one. But I've been liking the reload speed one in Canny. So it's just the damage crit damage crit rating reload speed heals builds attached. We're going to place it here. Once we have that, we're going to worry about the top spawn. So there's also going to be a spawn up here, and they have the same issue where they want to walk to the left sometimes. But what we're going to actually do is we're going to place a cone right here, facing the northwest, a wall. We're going to have a cone right here. This is going to be facing the west. We're going to go out one, two tiles, and then one tile to the north, connected to each of these. We're going to have a wall here, a cone facing the north, and a wall. We're going to have a tile attached to this, and that should be it, right? We're then going to add our reload speed wall dynamo. We're going to add a wall dart right here with reload speed. We're going to have our all dura ceiling electric fields. So all durability, one, two, three, four of them. And then we're going to have our heavy hitting gas trap. This has the damage into it. So crit rating, double crit damage, damage effect duration. Mainly because this won't be used all too much. It's only one or two husks that might come over here. And they'll just get nuked down by the wall dart, the wall dynamo, and the ceiling gas trap. As well as they'll get hit by these ceiling electric fields. But ceiling electric fields don't do as much damage as most people think. Once we have that... We are going to uh, focus on our spawn trap, because believe it or not, most of the build's already done. Um, at least I should say most of the um, tunnel is done. The build, we're going to have extensive spawn trapping. So one of the spawn traps we're going to have is we're going to place one. Oh my gosh. We're going to come up right here, and we're going to place one, two walls. We're going to place one, um, two. I think it's like this. We're gonna have two floors. We're gonna have a wall up. We're going to have a floor, a wall down. So wall right here, a floor. So let's get rid of this wall real quick so I don't confuse y'all. And then we're gonna have another floor. And this is gonna get also connected to the ground right here in case that spawn holding it up breaks. We're then going to have our ceiling drop traps and the directionality doesn't matter even though the crowd control changes kind of screw them over. Uh, I still like to place them so that they're pushing away from the objective. So we're going to look towards the west and then look up and place them. So boom, boom. Place it there. And there's going to be five of those ceiling drop traps there. And this is just going to be for the husks that are over here. They're going to walk over here and keep get hit by them.
Um, so this spawn trap is going to be kind of extensive. And that's one of those things that like, it's going to take me a little bit to go over it just because honestly, I'm not going to memorize this. I have it for all screenshots because it is a little bit complex. So we're going to come right over here to where this ramp is and we're going to jump up here. We're going to place a wall here. We're going to have two floors right here. These floors are going to have ceiling electric fields on them. So let's go to our all durability ceiling electric fields and boom, boom. So anything that walks over here um, has the potential to get hit by these ceiling electric fields because they have to walk around this low wall. So it's a little bit of added damage into it, but they're all durability. So they're just going to tickle them a little bit. We're then going to come right here and we're going to place one, two walls up and we're going to place a floor on top of it. Boom, like that. We're going to place one, two, so three floors right here. And these are each going to have all durability ceiling electric fields. So one, two, three. All right. And that's going to just serve as a little bit of spawn trapping. We're then going to have a drop down right here. So going off the screenshot, we're going to have a little archway like this. We're going to place that archway there and not right here. And we're going to place a floor right here. And this is just going to have a ceiling drop trap. And I'm going to face this back towards uh, the east. So all the husks are getting pushed this way. All right. So once we have that, we're also going to jump right up here. And we're going to place a ceiling tile right here. We're going to place four ceiling tiles like this. And we're going to place our drop traps on those. So all facing towards the east one two three four all right so once we have that we can also come to right here let's see we can come to right here and we can also place one as well so this is going to be facing the west or the east as well all right so it should look a little bit something like this All right, let me look at this a little bit more in depthly before I start explaining it as. Uh, yeah, even I get a little bit confused when building these at some times and I built it, so I can only imagine some of y'all getting frustrated, but we're in this together. So now we're going to take our arched wall and we're going to place one. And we're going to place two. Hold on, let me let me check that again, because I'm not entirely sure I got that right the first time. So let's see, we're gonna have that there, that there. Let me see if I can find a better angle. Okay, no, no, we definitely got it right. We got it right. Whew. Okay, so we're gonna attach a floor right here. We're gonna have floors all the way over here, all the way over to right here, right? So there's gonna be one, two, three, four, five floors. We're then going to make a full wall and we're going to place it like this. This is going to have a reload speed wall dart. It's crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, durability. And this is mainly for tunnel amplifier because of husks spawn up here. They have the potential to drop down here and this wall dart will kill them. All right. So we're going to have it like that. And we're going to re-edit back into our uh, archway and we're going to break that real quick. So I actually kind of want these... Uh, all durability ceiling drop traps that we have here. We're gonna have these down here. So one, two, three, place like that. And then this one, one, two, place like that. All right, so this, yes, if the spawns are right over here, it's gonna push them this way, but these are gonna push them backwards. We're then going to place archways lining this entire uh, thing right here. And this is gonna be a little bit of support. Then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five floor tiles. We're then going to have one wall. Okay, hold on. There. Okay, actually nix this one and nix this one. We're going to place a full wall here and a full wall here. Is that how I have it? That is how I have it. Okay. So we're going to have a full wall there and a full wall there. We're going to have our reload speed wall darts. So one wall dart here, 
and one right here and this is just for those husks that don't decide to do these drop traps they're gonna drop down right here they're gonna just gonna get annihilated by those wall darts we're also gonna come right to here uh and we're gonna place our drop traps again so i'm really hesitant because i want to say i do have a drop trap over yeah, I don't. That's weird. Okay, that's fine. So once we have that, we're going to drop down again. So we're going to make our archway. We're going to drop down right here and we'll place one. And then we're going to connect it with a floor. So archway, floor, archway, floor, archway, floor. So one, two, three, four floors. On each of these is going to be a drop trap and I'm going to have them facing these two facing towards the east and these two facing towards the north and then we'll have like the same kind of concept right here so towards the east and then towards the north and this is just to push everything into this corner right because um it, because this is a cross spawn we can't push them like all back this way or else it's going to screw over tunnel amplifier once we have that we're going to place a full wall here a full wall here have a floor, a floor, a floor, and a floor. And then each of these is gonna have their own drop trap. So I'm gonna have this one going towards the uh, east, and then the rest of these going towards the north, uh, away from the tunnel amplifier, okay? And that's a really about all the spawn trap, I think. Um, this is a really solid amp design, and you guys will see it. Um, it might look sketchy, and I, I know that uh, to a lot of you guys, uh, just because it is a lot less than my old build, um, and it might scare people to actually have smashers on a smasher bridge, but that's what it's intended for. We're also going to place that wall right here just for connectivity's sake. Um, but I know a lot of people get scared by smasher bridges. Um, don't really know why, but hey, it'd be like that. But we're also going to place reload speed wall darts right here boom and boom and this is just to shoot out the spawn past these sound walls i forgot to place those earlier no idea why but yeah we're gonna place those facing out this way but um yeah that should be about it for this build though i think i'm just scrolling through the screenshots to make sure everything is right but i don't think i missed anything which is surprising because uh believe it or not i've had this build for a good year now um or maybe not a year, but maybe like a half a year, and really haven't messed with it all too much. Even with the crowd control nerfs, um, it's been solid, so that's kind of cool. I mean, the only adjustments I had was putting heels belts attached basically on everything, but uh, even that wasn't too big of a deal. But that should be it. Yeah, that's that's it for the build. So I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, the gameplay will be right after it if you, we need to go over this again. The reason I have all these arches like this is, one, if the things spawn up here, they drop down to here. They don't have a free path to the amplifier. They have to drop down. Uh, same with over here. Um, they, they can't literally can't walk across this. The only other thing that I have is I do have a wall here and a wall here. And these are going to have wall dynamos with heels belts attached. And this is going to be for mainly for sinkhole north um in case some weird things happen where they walk around here break through here or something or go to this wall dart and break through here um they're gonna walk right here and they're gonna come across here and then they're gonna die to these wall dynamos they won't necessarily drop right here because then they have to go through the tunnel again um but yeah that's that's really the only reason for those wall dynamos up there but I do hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know it's a lot, and um, a lot of you guys might be like, ooh, but these are going to die to the hotspot. Yeah, but it's kind of necessary for Wave 3, so you guys are going to live with it. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoy this. I will come out with a sinkhole East build that is for you lower trapped era players, but it won't be till basically after all the amps are done. Um, mainly because after I finish with this tutorial, I'm going to tear this one down, and I'm going to build the new one. Uh, and begin testing so that's fun but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys like this video leave a like on the video and consider subscribing the gameplay is going to be after this peace